Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here in the estate and we are ready once more to delve out. And this time we're not going for a boss or anything. I'm not actually, actually even sure if we have any bosses to go ahead and do. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and uh, try this out. So let's... Upgrade all of this. We're probably going to spend quite a bit of money here upgrading everyone. But we're going to try out just a, a regular old medium level 3 mission and see how that goes exactly. Um, make sure everyone's got upgrades. We're taking the whole um, beautiful combo of Willow and Sophia. We're going to try that combo out again. It worked incredibly well for us last time, but things happened. Unfortunately, things did happen. So, we're going to see how this goes. We've got everyone trinketed up. Let's have a little look, see what we've got rocking for everyone. So, here we've just got insane. Like, I couldn't really think of what to put on Sophia. I really wasn't sure. So, I just went with insane scouting chance, um, as well with that um, chance to surprise monsters. We're losing a bit of, um, well, we're taking a bit of extra damage here. Uh, but we do have a healer in enigma here he's got the extra prop because his life is low as a base but he's got 40 prop to start so he's up to 60 and then some slight extra healing skill uh then we have willow here of course with the martyr seal and the head which is gonna mean he's gonna be doing some insane damage um really insane damage he is getting plus 40 percent damage if hp is below 50 plus eight crit if hp is below 50 Plus 60% damage at death's door. He also gets a base level of damage if at death's door. And then Sophia is going to be adding plus 45% damage if below 50% HP. And plus 9% crit if below 50% HP. It's going to be kind of insane. Then we have Eon here as an off healer. He's got his healing here which is going to be lowering his damage quite a lot. But he really doesn't need to deal damage. Um... And then he's bringing the sun just to up his speed, up his crit, uh, and minus that chance of party surprised, which is going to lead to some good monster ch surprise chance and lower party surprise chance, which should work out nicely for us. Now, this has gone wrong for us in the past, uh, but this time we don't have a chance of coming against the collector. The only thing I am worried about is this right here. Farsighted on Willow means that he is losing accuracy. Um, if we're in position 1 or 2, which we currently are. So we are going to be losing a little damage there. But this should hopefully go well. So let's uh, let's try this out. We're going to be jumping in to this mission here in the Warrens. Gather three grain sacks. Let's jump in and see how this goes. We're going to be taking not quite full food, but almost full. Same with torches. I'm going to be taking four of those. Four, four... Do you know what? I'm going to bring five of everything. I am going to bring full food and torture because these missions tend to be a little longer. Um, but yeah, we do have we have quite a lot of dire entries here as well. So let's uh, jump into one of those now. A little bit scared for this mission, but I'm also quite ready at the same time. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. Let's jump right in. Uh, but yeah, we have a few dire entries here. First one here is from TEA and this is from Maggie I. Itinerant Cook. Facing off against that mass of flesh was not an easy task. As the others cut it down, I did my best to stay focused and cook. But in the middle of my preparations, I was bitten and poisoned by the formless beast. And as I um, and as I was using all my remaining strength just to remain standing, a pillar of burn came down on me. I won't forget what I saw. A void. Something coming towards me from all around me. It grabbed a hold of me and tried to drag me down. I struggled with all I had to leave that place and opened my eyes to see myself sprawled out on the floor, still alive. And got right back to cooking. My god, I love that. I love that so much. This is going to be crazy. Look at that scout in there. This is going to be crazy. We're, we're, we're looking for these grains, so let's uh, check out if we've got any on the map here. Um, so we, we've already got two of them. Quest location, quest location. Nice. So we'll go down this way first. As much as I want to try out this comp, I'm okay with avoiding combat. <laughs> Put it that way. Let's go over here. We'll start off with a firebomb. We're going to have some rather hard beasts in front of us here. So we just got to prepare. Um, we're just going to start off with that. Get a bit of damage on you. Firebomb. Oh, I can only use firebomb from position 1. I'm going to have to change that over. Uh, that's a free action, so we'll go with that. It is going to deal damage to us. And we'll get a slice on you as well. 
then do this because it's a free action. And we'll be applying our blocks to this guy. Actually, we don't want to apply our blocks to him yet. That was kind of a mistake. Nice crit there, though. That's huge. Yeah, we don't we don't want to do that yet. Uh, minus 5% healing received is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. We're okay with getting hit on this guy here. Once he hits Death's Door, he's going to gain a, a block, which is rather nice. Um, we're going to go with 6 heal on you. Nice one. Then you're dead. Nice. And because that's a free action, we can slice on you. Uh, we don't need to do that yet, so we're going to give you double actions. It is going to debuff him with minus 6 percent heal and received, heal and prevented, extra damage received. That's fine. Yeah, again, take a slice on you. And you are dead. Okay, getting hit a little bit there. Uh, we're going to go for a heal on you. Then this will bring us his death door. But then we've got that block look. And there's 23 damage right off the bat. So... I'm actually going to, because we're just about to end the combat, I'm going to heal us all up here. I know this will bring this guy off death's door, but he activates his repose, and I think that works out fine. We'll give him another block just in case. Unfortunately, I don't think he can carry his blocks out of combat. But there we go, the repose does... Demolish him. What we don't want is we don't want this guy to um, end up getting hurt and dying to a trap. It's unlikely to happen, but it can. So we've got to be careful. We've got to be very careful. So we've got quest. Quest there. Quest there. Just want to check all of these to know where we're going. We'll go down this way first. 70, 90, 100. Okay, you've got 100. Enigma here. No one really knows anything about Enigma, of course. He doesn't even know his own name. No one knows his name. Um, he is but a stonework that has come to life. Um, and it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, but... He's joined along with the party. His his silence <laughs> for, forced the crew to basically go, well, I guess that's a yes when they asked him to come along. Um, and yeah, this, this group, I think Sophia... Now Willow's come back. She's been very shocked by this, considering he literally exploded into a million pieces all over her recently. But I think she's uh, been taken aback by it, and she's kind of gone, oh, okay, I, I, I guess. Right, he's down to death's door. One block, six rounds. There you go. Right, do this. We're not going to mess around. Borrowed time is going on you no matter what. Um, you can take that. That does surprising amounts of damage considering. From a doom, there's one block. So one block gone. There's our next block gone. Oh no. Nice one. A spew here. Could have got a disease there. Luckily we didn't. And then we heal the party yet again. That takes this guy off death's door. Um, and we hit for 26. We get another block and there we go this is this is kind of the the path that we're wanting to take right now this is exactly how we're wanting to play this uh we'll go around this way because we can get ourselves another uh trap disarm here which will give us a little bit of stress relief we've only got six stress to relieve but we might as well get rid of it while it's there the way is lit the path is clear. right carry on forward here only the okay to follow it as long as we're careful, we'll be fine. Last time, the only reason Willow even died is because Chasey is a blood-sucking demon and uh, was not too friendly towards him and didn't really care for his needs so much. Ah, oh, balls. I just realized. Um, I just realized something. I need to... Right, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to use it. I ought to not come back for that. I, I ought to, I owe it to myself to just go ahead and pick up this. Like, I'll end up wanting to come back to it later, and it, I don't want to be stupid. I know that I've just made a, la a lap for absolutely no reason. Gonna be honest, I completely forgot this existed for a moment. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a bit of a dumb decision and get rid of that. 
I know that's money, and we definitely want money, but at the same time, I think it's more important right now to keep bandages and things so that we can get rid of bleed on Willow outside of combat whenever we need to. Willow is, while a fearsome, fearsome warrior, he is slightly frail, and we need, to be, we need to be careful and attentive to what he needs. Luckily, we've got plenty of food here. Food shouldn't be a, a concern for us really at all. Um, don't have quest here, no quest here. We'll just go this way. Don't need to worry about that. Apparently, these are just for spawning bloodsuckers. So, we don't need to worry about those, really. Next battle. We could fight. Oh, my God. We could fight the... Uh... <laughs> That's a risky one. I'm not going to do that. If we wanted to, we could fight the Shambler. This build, honestly, could demolish the Shambler. Or it could not. <laughs> or it could really not. So, I've got to be careful. Um, get that going. We don't want a block on you yet, so let's just stress heal everyone. So we'll do that for you. Gives us that there. And then this next hit should give us 39 crit. Another block, there you go. And this is where this build really starts to come into its own. Okay, no disease luckily. Do you know what? We'll just heal you up. You're not exactly the strongest of the bunch. So we block that. 39 critical repost. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So we're not going to do this because we don't need to. We just we'd rather have the next block back. Give them no right, one thing I didn't do there. I didn't heal him up. Uh, it's kind of annoying we're going to have to leave all of this. I'm just going to do that. There you go. Bring you, off de bring you off death's door. It's annoying to leave all of this. But I'm very tempted to leave all of this. We can get rid of holy water. Uh, let's get rid of holy water for the emerald. And get rid of the busts. Is busts or deeds? I don't actually know which one's better. Right, let's leave it all. Let, let's not play risky. Right, we'll come back to you. I haven't decided whether I want to do that yet. It's very, very, very risky. Right. Okay. Um, I kind of wish I could get you in the back line there, but I can't. So obviously I'm not going to. We'll do that. We don't... Again, we don't need to block. Let's incite. Let's give you double actions. Hit you on death's door. Give me a double actions. Gives him all the more time to build up more blocks. 38 crit. That's another block. If you can get your next 10 straight away, that'd be great. Vomit. Luckily, that missed. Should I use this at death's door? It'll give us a block straight back, right? No, it does not. Okay. we got to be very careful about using that. Basically, we only want to be using that if it guarantees us a kill, because this only gives... Oh, on attack hit self. Yeah, so that, that just gets rid of a block. We want to kind of avoid using that, um, uh, unless we have two blocks or more. All right, we'll hit you, and then we'll get to healing in a moment. You're dead, dude. What? You dodged that, you tricky bastard. Nice dodge. Uh, we'll just go for the party heal here. It's going to take you off Death Star, but that's fine. We'll return to Death Star with that. The greater the glory. Nice attack. Lovely, we've got another summoning page. I'd very much like to take that. Uh, do you know what? We will take that. I still don't really know how best to use them, but I want to take them whenever I can. I realize that I really don't have room for a lot of the stuff that I'm taking right now, but we're trying. A secret room. Very happy about that. Curia, Curia, Curia. Room battle. Quest location. Okay. So we can we can get out of here without without risking too much of ourselves here. So let's go in here. Let's check out this. Okay, just three of these. We can deal with that. Now it must be carried home. Hmm. I know that that's just absolute blasphemy. But, sue me. I do what I want. Don't have any of that. Right, we got the grain. Um, We can take it for shovels right now. Can we? Should we? A bad idea. I'd rather take it for, um, for cigarette and keys than shovels, to be honest. Right, question is... 
do we do we want to fight the shambler so let's just take a little let's take stock so shambler is a pain in the ass we have insane damage output like we would be able to kill him very quickly the problem is we need to be able to counteract both stress and incoming incoming damage the little clapper things i can't remember what they're called now the little things the little summons that you make do significant damage along with significant stress another thing as well is it would give us a, a reorder it would it'd mess around our party order and if i remember correctly let's let's take stock here if I remember correctly you can only hit from the front um you can only hit from... Actually, you can hit from pretty much anywhere, and that moves you forward, so that's not too bad. You can only heal from the middle two. You can kind of do this from most places. Okay, so it's not terrible. I just really think it's going to lead to a death if we do it. But at the same time, the risk is worth the reward. I think. I think it's worth the reward. We'd be getting quite a lot from it. I think for now, let's continue on our quest and just just get some more loot. I know that we got rid of our camping gear, so we can't camp, but that's fine. We don't need to. We're just going for a little bit of extra combat. Okay, surprise is good. Although he can still do that when surprised. Maybe maybe he always takes the first action because it seems that way. Certainly seems that way. Right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna incite on you. I think that sets us up really well. This should detonate us, gives us that block. Finishes you. Damn it! It doesn't finish you. Finishes you. Gives us the second block. Healing myself here. That's a great crit. Just in case. Right, that's our first one gone. That's you gone. We still got two blocks. Damn it, a dodge, and it, we did reuse up one block there. Um, I think we could just strike him here for an extra block. And we go with a party heal. And an additional block, just in case. Nice. Burn breaker here. Nice attack. Good thing is we're still getting a massive damage bonus even when just below 50% HP. So that works out. Um, don't need any of that right now. Nice. Right. This is a real difficult decision. Let me... Let me... Let me go and talk to someone in the Darkest Dungeon chat and in the Discord and see if they think it's a good idea. Okay, I've asked in the Discord, while we're waiting on that message, let's uh, let's carry on just surprise. killing stuff and looting. Even the Got some of these boys. We need to up our light level, really. Okay, he's blighted. That's really bad. We need to get rid of that. Did you just get the plague? Oh, damn. He just got the plague. He just got a death's door check as well. Holy hell. Wasn't expecting that one. You need to go, sir. That was unexpected, right? Let's pop our light up. Get a block on there. Two blocks, good. Wasn't expecting that. Have to say. Was not expecting that. Okay, let's heal up again. Good dodge. Mmm, not good dodge. We can use this, because we're not at death's door. Oh, that got rid of our blocks, though. Hmm. That'll give us another block. It didn't. Okay, it didn't hurt us. Oh, we just got rid of both of our blocks. That's fine. Nice crit. Okay, I need to I need to think about how I do that sometimes. That didn't really work, did it? Nice stress heal on you. Can't believe we got the plague. Unexpected. Crit for 25 on the repost. Love it. Love it. Ooh, what's this? Um... Cherished keepsake. 
plus 20, uh, plus 10 prop, minus 20 stress, on kill all heroes. Wow. That is insane. <laughs> I will be taking that, yes please. Um, what do we get rid of for that, exactly? Do we get rid of the summoning page for it? I feel it's more important. The summoning page is good, but I feel this is more important. So, we gotta be careful, because the plague means he can act out. And, um, and hit people. And that... If, it, it depends. I don't know if the... I don't know how the hits work. Are the hits just he will swipe them, deal a bit of damage? Or are the hits based on his actual attacks? If they're based on his actual attacks, we might have a problem. We might have a problem. We'll see. We'll find out, I guess. Scary, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, this guy always seems to be able to act first, no matter what his speed is, no matter whether we surprise them or not. Um, let's go with that. Brings us down to Desidor. We might want to do something to up his Blight Resist or something. Maybe that'd help. Spike you. Do that. And then get give you a block. Quicken. Good, good job with this as well. It cures Blight and Bleed. So it means that if we're on Death Star, we don't have to worry too much. Uh, I will go for a heal here, though. Heal you up. Heal myself up after. Munch, that's going to Blight us. It's fine. And the drum. You're dead. I love the fact that you get this repair, so it's just insane. We'll do that. Okay, more Blight here. We can just get rid of that. In fact, that's exactly what we'll do. And we'll heal ourselves for, unfortunately, not much. Yeah, get another heal. I want to get another round with this guy first, really. Um, I'm going to do this. Nice dodge. No repost there, though. There you go. Do that. You've still got two blocks remaining, so let's keep stress relieving. Let's finish you off. Nice crit. Wow, we're getting so much money right now. It's kind of annoying how much money we're getting. Um... Oh, this is tough. I really want that because it's a thousand. A lot of money to throw away. At the same time, I don't know what else to I don't know what else to use. In radiance, may we find victory. Right, take Will them. Measure. Jump in here. The brave and the foolhardy alike. The last bit of combat. Nice surprise yet again. Go with that on you. We'll finish you off. There's that block coming in. 48. Oh, he's so strong, Willow. You're so very strong, my dude. We'll go for the party heal yet again here, uh, just to give, give us another chance to do exactly what we just did. You've, you've also got a great crit, Enigma. Great crit chance. Get that block on you. Okay, that's fine. Blight on a stern. I mean, you can try. Taking a little bit of stress here, that's fine, though. Really shouldn't have done that, buddy. Okay, hit you. Probably not the best way to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that a little wrong. I'm doing that a little wrong. I can tell. I shouldn't... If I've got blocks, I shouldn't ever use that free action because it just removes our blocks. That's all it's doing. Success so clearly in view. Damn, we can't do anything with that. Damn, I'm I'm so very tempted to go and try this out, but I'll be so upset with myself if it doesn't work out. I'll be so, so upset with myself if it doesn't work out. Right, let's do a little bit of research. One second. Hmm, okay. I, I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm gonna just leave it because I don't know if it applies blight or bleed, and if it does, we're screwed. 
the swine will not. Okay, nothing terrible there. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, <laughs> literally as soon as I decided not to do it, someone said no. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spread. Okay, of good. Quality. Right, let's uh, remove our trinkets. Cool. Yeah, okay, so that was a good choice. That was a good, good, good choice. Right, sort by class restriction again. Let's see what we want to do for next. Okay, I am going to go and treat Willow as well um, and get rid of Farsighted. Makes no sense on him, so we'll get rid of that. And what do you have, Eon? We'll get rid of that as well. Why not? Why not? We're healing people up. Let's check what trinkets we got. 40% healing received. That seems really good. We'll take that. Seems really good indeed. Um, and let's go and have a little look at our stagecoach. Hey, the class that I accidentally didn't take last time has come back, and I will definitely take it this time. We now have a powder keg. Powder keg's a really cool class. Someone needs to write a backstory for that, so any of you out there that are willing to write and wanting to write, please do give that a go. Give that a try. Uh, and then we're going to go on another mission. We've got two level one missions here. Strange. Um... Let's go on this medium mission here for the ancestor Ancestors Relics. It's going to be a curve one, and we're, we do have the thing from the stars available. Um, so we want to be trying to take that out. Curve is still a level five. We definitely need to get that sorted out. Uh, let's have a little look here, shall we? So we definitely want someone with armor piercing. That's a big, big must. Um... We've got quite a few different people. One thing I didn't actually mention at the start of the episode, sadly, Ash has taken a leave of absence. In law terms, Ash has gone away back to his hometown to try and make amends. In actual sense, the mod was unfortunately taken down from the Steam page by the co-author of the mod without the other author's permission. So that's a big bummer. Um... I can't remember the exact name. I think it's Ebony Betty is the creator or the co-creator of the mod who paid the other person to make the art and animations and the other person has taken the mod down without her permission whatsoever. So do not support that action. Please stop doing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, unfortunate for us. We'll we'll get him back soon. Ash will be Ash will make his way back soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Who do you want to bring with us on this mission? Uh, like I said, we, we really, really, really want to bring um, someone that's got armor piercing. Dot damage is also really good. Let's bring out Isaac. We haven't used Isaac in quite some time, so let's bring Isaac out. Um, we'll... Let's have a look what we got here. We're going to bring his, um, his healing ability and just have the one stun with the clear corpses. I think he'll do fine with that. Amaris can be our healer here. Amaris is a beautiful healer. Um, let's just redo our skills real quick. Go with that. Hmm. That. That. And that. Cool. That should be pretty good. Who else do we want here? Salamander. Does Salamander have any sort of armor piercing? I don't think Salamander does, unfortunately. Um, I'm trying to see who has armor piercing. Who's going to be the best for us? Of course, I know that we can bring our snake charmer. That's a really good one. That's armor piercing. Hmm. That's only armor piercing on the first attack, though. That'd be kind of tough to do. Forward, and he's got no nothing to move him back, apart from this, which would take a while to get back for. Hmm. Probably not the best. We have um, we have David here, Ironclad. We haven't brought him out in a while. I've kind of, there's kind of a reasoning behind that, though. A lot of people said that David's uh, sounds of sound effects were very jarring, so I haven't brought him out in a little while. Um, 
We could bring Harathan out. Harathan hasn't been out in a little while. Yeah, let's bring Harathan. Uh, even though he doesn't do armor piercing, he does do a lot of dot damage. Uh, and I think that's going to be really helpful. Oh, blood boil. That does armor piercing. Okay, that's not exactly what we want, but that is helpful to know. Um, I think that's going to be pretty damn useful. We, yeah, we'll leave it all that as is. And then we need to bring someone that's kind of an off healer. Uh, Nori, we could bring Nori. Although Nori isn't going to be useful in that position. I suppose Amaris could come up front. Yeah. Okay, so Amaris, you can go here. And Nori, you can come with us as well. And then Nori's going to be buffing the combat actions. And applying this regen. Going to be quite nice. Well, actually, we'll take off the extra action in lieu of a base attack. And have her have her have the ability to actually attack things when necessary. Right, let's uh, trinket these guys up. So you, we know you have a dedicated, pretty good trinket. So we'll uh, we'll add that onto you. Um, extra accuracy, extra stun, extra blight, really good stuff. Lots of extra stress though. So let's just offset that with that. That'll that'll do for you. Uh, Harathan, you can go with the blight and bleed setup that we love so much. It's going to be a lot of dot damage today. A lot of dot damage. Um, then... On a kill... Do you know what? Let's bring... Let's bring this instead. We're getting that extra prop. We're still minusing the stress. And on a kill, we have the trans chance to de-stress everyone. As long as dot kills still count with that, that's going to be great. Um, then you want restoration stuff going on, so 20 cent restoration, 50 cent restoration applied, and then go with that. And Amaris, you can go with... Stress isn't going to be a big problem here, so I'll give that to you. And what else did we use? Hmm... We could go with this, but that's a lot of HP to lose for the extra healing. I don't think we need the extra healing that badly. What's going to be good on you? Lots of resists would actually be be quite nice. That's 30 stress. I don't really want to deal with extra 30 stress. Um, that's pretty good, but we're not really going to be utilizing that all that much. So I don't really know how useful that would be. Some difficult decisions to be made here. Difficult decisions to be made indeed. Hmm. Trinketing up is like one of the hardest things for us now, in my opinion. It's very, very difficult. Don't think we have any class specific trinkets for you, anyways. No, we don't. Um, healing skill. We could go with the speed and accuracy. We don't really need the accuracy, though. We could go with the speed crit and minus 10 chance for pi, but with the extra damage. And the scouting and monster surprise. Let's go with the scouting and monster surprise. Plus 15 incoming damage isn't going to be all that big of a deal for you. And there you go. I think we have a pretty good setup here. Let's uh, let's head forward and see what we can do. Make sure everyone's got the correct moves on and everything. Good, good. Let's progress. Okay, we'll take... Yeah, again, we're going to take everything. On these missions where you have to search out a really big area, I feel it's better to bring just everything. I'm going to bring five of all of these. And then we're going to bring some of this as well, because we have the ability to um, apply horror. Oh no, we, we got rid of that, didn't we? That doesn't actually matter. Um, okay, don't think there's anything else we particularly need. We can take out blood just in case we get the curse, but we're not going to mess around with that for now. Uh, let's just embark and we'll read into our next diary entry. Let's try this out, shall we? I'm excited. Right, when the next diary entry is another one from TEA, and this is for Nevada, our butcher that has arrived at the hamlet. To all the warriors and adventurers of the hamlet, I have sent this message to, uh, to warn you. I have been rallying old friends and colleagues of mine to journey there and battle against the comet's light. If any of you feel the need to do the same, be wary of the power within those shards. They will push your body to its limits and break your mind. Good luck to you all. Oof. Recover these Oof, I love these stories. Right, we're going to have to go back this way. Them from into Thank you for dodging that. Scrupulous hands. Not going to touch that. We need our shovels. 
Scouting, there you go. Only a small scout, but it'll do. And we do have a trap here, so let's be careful for that. 60, 80, 100, 105. Wow. Base chance of 105 without any modifications. That's amazing for us. Now, I have heard... This is only a level 3 quest, so it shouldn't matter too much. But I have heard that the curve is very brutal at the higher levels. And probably the, one of the hardest areas in the game. So let's be very wary and very cautious of... Um, of coming to the curve in these late levels, especially level 4 and onwards. Ooh, okay, we've already got some hard enemies here. Shocker, that's terrible for us. Thank God we didn't get stunned. We could end up taking on the, uh, okay, so yeah, it's a lot of stress already. Um, I'm gonna... You haven't acted yet, but your stun resist is very high. I mean, all of your stun resist is very high. Let's just try it. Damn it. What a shame. Okay, we'll go for you. Nice kill. That's a lot of damage right there. That's great. Okay, it's gonna hurt. Nice dodge there. Activate repost here. Yeah, this will be nice stress relief along with healing for all. Then we can start on with this. Oh, my alarm's going off. Then we can start on with this. Getting blight on them is very nice to start. Let's try and stun you. Ah, damn it. Really? What's our stun chance? It's... 130 plus 25. No, plus 20. That's like 150 versus 70 and we're failing. That's a bit sad. It's all right, though. Nice, Blight got you. Okay, this crab can can go heck off. Let's do this. Buffs our prop by a lot. So now we can boil blood, which is going to deal insane damage and armor pierce. So let's do that. Yeah. There you go. And it reapplies the blight because of the uh, the shell that we've got on. That works out. Wow, that's a lot of bleed. That's a lot of bleed. Okay, unfortunately, all the corpses are gone at the moment, so we can't really do anything about that. Nice. Even more blight coming in. Boil blood. I love the fact that that's now reapplying the, uh, the blight. That's really good. Heal ourselves up. Give us that 154 prot. Just try it. One damage. Just you try it, buddy. Okay, this is a, this is a very good setup. This is a very, very good setup. Wait a minute. Let's just do that. This is going to work out for us just fine, I think. 154 prot. Wow. That is crazy. The more scouting there. The big scout. Hopefully with this amount, we can get uh, a secret room yes, yet again. Okay, got a, got a food check very early on here, which isn't great. Isn't great. Got a lot of battles along the way as well here. Okay, stress wave coming in. Nice dodge. As you can see, everyone's at zero stress now, apart from uh, Harathan. So that that's, works out really well. Um, let's just go for a stun on you. Moves you to the back as well. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt. It's okay, though. Blight on everyone. Even bleed on some of them as well. Activate this. Increase our death blow resist. Stress wave coming in. Okay, that's fine. Um... Blight the back two there. We need that blight. That slash is going to hurt, but it's okay. We've got it. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep stacking this blight. Get the blight on everyone. And... You're almost healed up, to be fair. Let's just take out the stress dealer right now. Oh, my God. Leave him alone, please. No. Leave him alone. Okay, activate that. Okay. Um, we can stun you relatively easily. Yeah, let's just stop you from acting. Brings you to the front as well. Brings you all the regen. Great. While everyone else is full health, that's exactly what we want. Especially when he's getting hit as much as he is. Uh, right, let's go for Boiling Blood. Didn't quite kill you, but almost. 
more repost going on. I, I love Amorous here. Amorous is so powerful. Fortunately, no body because of Blight. Maybe having the Mirage on didn't really... wasn't really necessary. Right, that'll finish you off at least. Nice, with that repost. We'll just go with that for a 20 crit. Lovely. Okay, huge hits. Awesome. And we also got this. Minus 50 horror duration. Um, we also got an achievement there. Happy together. Minus 10 stress. Plus 15 damage gets versus marked. Minus 10 maximum HP. Blade of the Moon. I'm guessing that means we've cr we've uh, finished a set. I'm guessing that's what achieve that achievement was. Okay, so we've got our first thing here. So, of course, this is another one where we've got to carry things. So we've got to be ready for that. Uh, let's just reorder our party real quick. Okay, we do have some of these. Oh, we have some um, eerie coral there as well. That's great. Let's just torch up. I'm going to just do that to you first. You're, you're going to die to blight. Actually, you're already dead to blight. That's amazing. Um, you're dead. No, he dodged it. Everything's blighted. You're ble bleeding as well. Of course, these guys aren't going to take bleed too much because their bleed resistance is 70. But when it happens, it happens. And it's nice. Not going to complain. Shocker. That's annoying, but not terrible. We can deal with it. Especially not on uh, Isaac. Although Isaac is very useful. He's not instrumental. I I'm, I'm assuming Isaac has come along because he wants to study Harathan. He thinks he's a very interesting being. He's very interested in his composition and how he, how he walks the earth. Okay, bleed on him now. That's getting a bit annoying. Let's get rid of that. Or not. I didn't even think about that. When you've got um, when you've got a, a dot on you, you can't get rid of it if you're stunned. It's interesting. Right, you're dead. Do that again. That'll give us a bit more stress relief. And you can just see how everyone's stress is melting away. Amorous is like an absolute god at just melting away stress. It's great. We could have created a mirage there, but we didn't actually need to. That won't bleed as I'm pretty sure I bleed resist as Harathan is very high. Mm, you're pretty much dead. Gotta think about this as well. We can activate our repose here to give us even more restoration and a repose. We should probably use that a little more often, actually. In radiance, may we find victory. Nice. Portraits would be nice, of course, but. We don't have room for them. We do have the thing to give us blood now, though, so we don't need to be carrying blood. Right, let's check. Who's got the worst thing on them here? Weedy is annoying, so we, we can definitely get rid of, do to get rid of Weedy. Cleanliness, that's not too bad. Um, virtue and minus and stress healing is annoying. Less healing received, less stress healing received. Okay, she's getting 20% less stress healing. Mind of her own. Yeah, it's definitely going to be her. Yeah, it's definitely you. You have terrible, terrible things on you right now. Distant. Don't even know which one that one was. Okay, that one was good. We got rid of a good one there. Mind of our own is really the one we want to get rid of, though. Any Anything that makes our characters act without us wanting to do it, that's the most terrible ones we can get. Let's do Repurst this time. Let's open up with a Repurst. Um, you can go... Oh, always with the dodge. Nice hits. Yeah, so we'll open up with this. And we'll do that. Okay, he's barricaded. That's okay. Blight calls, we'll see right through that. Bleeding don't bother us at all. Nice amount of blight on you. You two can take it. Aha! You messed up there, didn't you? Guarding that guy's got you hurt. Stun, unfortunately, on Isaac again. He seems pretty susceptible to that sort of thing. That's going to kill you. That's almost going to kill you. Let's just focus on healing. Get that regeneration in. Nori does a good job of that. Yeah, another hit on you. And then you're dead. Blighted and bleeded. Get that going. Marking is attracting the attention. This is just insane dots right now. It's great. Twenty-one damage. There you go. My will is my own. Not terrible on a healer, to be honest, because most of the time they're just going to heal. 
Look, there's some actions we don't want them to do. Nice. Keep buffing up that repurst. Okay. Got to remember as well, we can clear Blight and Bleed here. So you're going to take... Not enough damage. There you go. Now, now you're going to take enough damage to die. Great. And eight damage there. Not bad. Good, good. Right. Curia, 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 Curia. Quest location. Okay. I'm going to check this combat because in case it's things from the, the thing from the stars. We do need to fight it at some point to get some shards. Unfortunately, we got something really annoying. But these guys are going to get bled very much so. <laughs> We're going to take a lot of stress, though, most likely. Which is a shame, but... But we, what we signed up for... I'm okay with doing extra fights. As long as we can keep our healing high. When we've got two healers with us, though, healing is not too big of an issue. Of course, you all dodge it for the first and only time. The only enemies that are going to get both blighted and bled by it, and you all dodge it. Typical. Typical. God damn. There you go. There you go. Good amount of damage coming in. Oh no, a crit of three, although that is a lot of stress. Well, we'll definitely be getting that off of us. Here. Okay, good. Run for the old gods, nice miss. Okay, you're on 15, 15. You're both on the same health, it doesn't matter which one of you had strike, really. Made a mistake there, buddy. I'm gonna end your life now. Nope, just kidding. Gonna end your teammate's life. Party restoration. Extra one of these. Ah, we can only do that once per battle. Unfortunate. Still stress shouldn't be too hard to get rid of. Don't worry about it. Even though we are going to take some more here. There you go. Dead to that. Nice. And then we can just go back through here. And quest location is over this way. Cool. Some more feeding to be done. That's a lot of stress. Not what you want to see, really. Okay, we've got some stuff here we definitely want to take. Um, hmm. Holy water, you can go. Herbs can stay. Nah, everything else can stay. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking risks today. The stuff I want, but I'm not taking risks today. Bass Relief. I'll try it. Ah, you fucker. You fucker. Has a chance to suffer a severe debuff during combat. How fantastic. Hopefully we can cure disease with one of these guys camping or something. Let's have a look. Prevent Nighttime Ambush, that's fine. Um, there's a few of these people that have cure disease, so... Remove disease. There you go. Right, now we've got to make hard decisions. I'm going to have to. I don't want to. I really like having those, but I'm going to have to make the decision. The match is struck. A blazing we'll come across a few more eerie corals, and it's going to make me sad, but it's got to be done. Nice dodge, everyone. Rend, that's not too bad. No bleeding for us. We're a skelly bob. Eldritch pull. That's it's, it's a bit it's a pain, but it's not a terrible pain. Um, try and kill you. Why do you always miss at crucial times? Always. God damn it. Okay. Stress is a problem. Minus fifty death bro resist. That is very horrible. There you go. You're gone. Right, you're going to be dead. Oh, I should have done it on you, otherwise... Luckily, no stress from you. That's great. 
Thank God they keep going for her, her Atham, the person they cannot bleed. Nice stress relief here. This will do enough to kill everyone, I think. Not quite you, but... We can do one of these, get a bit of extra healing. Ah, everyone resisted it. Shame. Yeah, they just keep going for the one guy that they actually can't really hurt. That'll definitely kill you now. You're both dead. Especially when I smack you like that. Right, nice one. Lovely. This is a beautiful setup right now. But a victory nonetheless. Another one of these going on. Sadly, can't do anything about it. That's why I hate it. There's so many good things down here that you need the medical herbs for. It's a shame to see him go to waste. Also, we haven't got a secret room yet. No scouting chance for a secret room, which is a shame. Really hoping to see that after this room. Okay, Bloat Boy. We need to get rid of him immediately. Do we stun him and try and kill him, or do we just blight him? He's only got 20 HP. We, the thing is, Blight's not great for us here. Nice kill. Blight's not great for us here because we don't really do that much damage. There you go. Um, like, per round. We need we need to be, it to be fast, but luckily the problem solved itself, so it's okay. Okay, stress is getting a lot lower now. Taking some big strikes here. Shouldn't matter too much. Activate Repost. Uh, let's just stun one of you to stall out combat. Okay. Okay, it's random. Minus 33%. Okay, let's uh let's do that. Okay, it applied it to the person that mattered anyways. Let's do that. Good, good. Let's do that. Give us that ton of repose. Uh then let's do that. You get all the healing. Ah, you're not in the right position to do this. Uh let's let's just switch you around. I, I want to try and stall this out for as long as I can. Let's just finish you off. Didn't quite finish you off, but it did enough damage. Yeah, we're in a bad spot for you. Um, do that. Give us a nice little heal. And we can also do one other thing with Isaac here, if he's willing to help out. Isaac, are you willing to help out? You are good. Nice one. Good thing is, once we've do done with a restoration, we just transfer it to you. And then you get all that restoration. Great. Works out so well. Finish you off. Works so well. This is a very, very good composition. Bit of stress coming in there. That's fine. That debuff chance is whack. Very whack. Get a mirage in. Solar burn. You got blight for days, boy. What are you doing? Healing everyone? Stress relieving everyone? You bastard. How could you? Ooh, we need some more hair of the sea dog. Oh, damn. Uh, do I take it for bandages? Yep. I've got restoration. I'll take it for bandages. Hair of the sea dog's really important. Get rid of that now. Scouting? Great. Okay, so we've got combat both sides. We've got quest this side. Let's go this side first. We are looking specifically for the thing from the start. So every time we have it, it's never shown up apart from that very first time. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping for it, but at the same time, I'm very scared. Because the thing is, if it shows up, it could destroy us. But I think we have enough blight and bleed to just wreck the thing. Honestly, I really do. So that's you. Not quite dead, but almost dead. So you almost dead. That's you dead. You dead. Good, good, good. That went really well. Really well indeed. The brine is bad. Cleansed from our lands. Uh, yeah, just call the restoration. That's fine. Dead. And... Dead. Bit overkill, but whatever. Anyone that can apply restoration to their self and working with Nori here is great. Works very, very well alongside. Another one falls. Awesome. Right. Let's go through to here. Nothing in here, though. This last battle could be him. 
I kind of doubt it will be, but it could be. Thing from the stars could show up. Some reason I highly doubt it though. No secret room either today, which is a shame. I could go back to these rooms here. In fact, I probably will, just for the off chance that we get, um, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get him. Uh, just for the off chance that we get the scouting. Uh, you're more of a pain. Let's take out you first. <sighs> Nori's doing great for damage, I swear to God. Nice, you are now dead. I love almost wiping before they even become unsurprised. It's perfect. Yet again, they still go for the guy that can't bleed, which is perfect for me. Perfect for me indeed. 16 heal. Wow. That's huge. Get the restoration going on everyone. Five. Five. Restoration on everyone is crazy. Stress is going down very quickly. And you are taken care of, sir. As victories mount, so, so too will resistance. Will resistance. Right, in we go. Okay, we grab this. And we put it... Probably should have just camped before this, shouldn't we? Would have saved us having to lose something. Um... I'm going to get rid of shovels because we know there's no shovel areas, look. If we look at the map, we know there's none. Uh, so now I'm going to camp. A spark without kindling is a we don't need this rest release. Let's just do far food. Um, you need to do this. Oh, it's one companion. No, I thought I could, thought I could remove it from myself. I could remove from you though. That's that's fair. Let's just do that anyways. Both of our disease is gone. That works out nicely. Um Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Let's just do it. I know that everyone's gonna get 15 stress, but that's fine. Then you can do that. You can do that. And you can do that. Cool. Right, let's make our way back. It's going to be a long journey. Hopefully we don't need shovels. If we do, we can just leave though. If we, if we, for some reason, it appears in front of us that we need a shovel, we just leave. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to walk past it at all. Sadly, we did get rid of our shovels and we can't open that anymore. It would have been nice to do that. There's two of these along this way as well. Really should have thought about that. Oh well. That's the way it goes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Hopefully we get scouting chance here though. If we get scouting chance here, we've got a chance to find a secret room. Also, there's a chance of running along here that a new boss will spawn. Uh, sorry, a new a new bit of combat will spawn, which means that we could fight the boss that we want to fight. Hunger checks, that's exactly why I didn't eat eight food. Knew there'd be a few hunger checks along the way. There's one battle. Oh, it's bloodsuckers, okay. Wasn't expecting this. Let's hope we don't get any. Uh, hope we don't get any horrible mishaps with gathering even more people that have the curse. Luckily, I did lower the chance slightly of getting the curse. It's now in between the first mod I had and the default levels. Should hopefully put us in a good place. I'm really hoping. Do that only bleed them. These guys have pretty high blight resist. Should have thought about that, really, shouldn't I? Bombing run. Nice dodge. The first. Isaac could be taking it on. He's been studying into this heavily, so it'd be interesting to see what happens here. You're finished. If Isaac got the curse himself, that'd be some really interesting stuff, considering he's heavily reading into the curse and the bloodsuckers. This is first-hand experience for Isaac. I'm sure he's... Whilst a little scared, I'm sure he's absolutely thrilled to be seeing them out in the wild. It's a real, it's a real treat for him. He's a very sadistic guy. This is like his perfect night out. <laughs> um, I know it's not going to give you blight. Oh, it did. Okay. Right, if anyone take me. But Dirk, so I don't want you to. Aha! Nice, okay. No cares for us. 
Oh, we got an invite. Uh, Baron's invite. We kind of have to take that. Kind of obligated to take that. Can't take that, unfortunately. Right. Last few chances to scout. Gimme, gimme. Damn. Wealth beyond measure. Didn't work out for us here with the scouting, sadly. Another food check. I was right with the food. Okay, we've cleared this entire place out. Be a good stopping point here. Nice one. Okay, loads more level fours there. That's great. Cool. That works out really, really well. And I'm really glad Isaac got some first-hand experience with the Bloodsuckers now. Well, there you go. Uh, let's just unequip all of our trinkets here. Reselect them. Check if we need to, we've got anything to buy here. Uh, 10 scouting chance, minus 10 chance. Party surprised. Minus 20% chance. Monster surprised. That's pretty decent. We'll buy that. Right. What else do we have here? Jester Privateer. We don't have anything we want to bring on there. Okay. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have one last diary entry from Cell, and this is just Dismas. Simple one saying, I think it's time that I make things right with Ryan. And I'm looking forward to that story as it develops. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.